It is uh, 34 degrees and snowing outside, according to our weather app. The inside of the van is currently at... Our names are Mike and Heather. We're traveling the US in our van Appa on a mission to visit all 50 states. Subscribe and join us as we try to figure out this whole van life thing. Thanks for watching. We decided that we wanted to just do an overnight kind of like camping trip at a local trailhead to see how Appa does in the cold weather because we haven't gotten to get out when it's been actually cold. So it is 36 degrees out. Now it is supposed to dip below 36 degrees tonight and we do have a thermometer that I just took out of our house so no it is not this warm out <laughs> that we're going to be watching as the night goes to be able to see what the temperature is inside of the van as well so hopefully this will help us gauge how well our van does in the cold and with that being said we're going to hop in the van now and drive to the trailhead We did find the place that we're going to be sleeping on iOverlander it's not too far away from our apartment here so I'm just going to pull it up in the GPS I think the thermometer's crashing, so hopefully it still works for our little experiment here. So yeah, that's where we found this, and we are heading over to the Eternal Flame hiking trailhead to spend the night. We're here at the trailhead. It's already dark. There's snow on the ground too, so it definitely is a nice cold night to, to do all of this, but I think we're gonna crawl into the back, kind of get everything situated for camping out tonight. We'll throw the Reflectix up over the windows, and then once we've done that, we'll convert everything over to bed mode and, and get ready to kind of just relax for the evening. Are the lights off? They are off. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> all right. And now the plan is to just kind of hang out. We actually already grabbed a bite to eat on our way over, but we did pack snacks, so we're gonna dive into those now. And right now the van is about 60 degrees because we were just driving it and had the heat on from there. Hopefully <laughs> we don't see this drop too much. So we'll keep track of this overnight. I think we'll probably hang out a little bit with the setup back here in bench mode, eat some of our snacks and stuff like that. And then in just a little bit, we'll convert everything over. Hopefully we don't wake up too many times because of the cold. <laughs> But if I'm being honest, we don't even need our hats and jackets on at the current moment because it's pretty toasty in here. Yeah. The plan is just to kind of have a low key evening enjoying our van and putting it to the test for the cold. We're all done with our snacks now and I think we're gonna move this bench into bed mode and then continue watching the amazing race from there. So it still feels pretty nice and warm in here. There's, we're not really cold or anything yet. We do have our sleeping bag, our electric blanket and our portable propane heater. So we have those three options tonight. I think we're just gonna start with the sleeping bag and see one by one if we do need to add more. But as of now, I think a sleeping bag will just be fine. And just to put it in perspective, it is a 30 six degrees out but real feel is 28 degrees can happily say it doesn't feel like that in here so far <laughs> at least at the current moment <laughs> knock on wood it's uh holding up pretty well so we'll see how we feel after the night's sleep but in the meantime we're gonna convert this into a bed and continue watching some tv this part's always interesting <laughs> i've definitely gotten better at that <laughs> over time And bed mode is all set. Hey, let's go win that money, baby! Just calm down, let's go. So, slight update, I'm actually grabbing some shorts to throw on because I'm a little bit warm and the sleeping bag is definitely doing its job. So <laughs> I'm gonna throw those on and try and get to a, get a little bit more of a, a comfy sleep. I'm still in my sweatshirt and leggings and very comfortable, but I like things warm. <laughs> So it's 
kind of the middle of the night, but we figured that we would check back in and see how we were doing and and what the temperature outside was and and what the temperature inside the van was. It is currently 1:35 in the morning. <laughs> It is uh, 34 degrees and snowing outside according to our weather app and it says real feel is 25 degrees. But the inside of the van is currently at 55? Uh, the... Yeah. I'm not sure if the inside thermostat's <laughs> very correct, but... Well, we have another little one and it's saying the same thing that it's between 50 and 55 in here right now, so... It's definitely cooled down a little bit and there's a little bit of crispness in the air, but nothing terrible and it's actually pretty pleasant to sleep in here right now. <laughs> Inside the sleeping bag is very warm. I had to take off my sweatpants because it was actually that warm. And I do feel like we're warm enough in here and don't feel like we need the electric blanket or feel like we need the portable heater to turn on and, and warm everything up. I think we're gonna go back to sleep and we'll check back in in, in a little bit and see how everything is, is holding. Yes. So we're going to do that. It is 7.12. The sun is just about to come up. It is... 34 degrees outside. 34 degrees outside and just over 40 degrees inside. So we definitely lost some more heat over the nights, but it wasn't unbearable to sleep at all. <laughs> no, it definitely, it definitely was fine being in the sleeping bag. I mean, I'm still in my shorts and, and comfortable on my lower half and, and with the sweatshirt. You definitely kind of feel it on your head though. But Th nothing a hat can fix. Yeah, I won't say it was like the best sleeping experience. I mean, it's a little uncomfortable with, with the temperature being about 44 degrees around you, but not difficult to sleep in at all. Really nice and cozy. So if you don't <laughs> mind the cold, it's not a bad experience at all. This is right around like 32 degrees. So we'll have to put it to the test again with a little bit lower temperatures. Maybe then we'll have to break out our heated blanket or the heater, but for right around 32 degrees, I think it's completely doable to do with just a sleeping bag. And with that, the sun is peeking out. So let's get this day started. Oh, we got someone. Someone else stayed overnight here too. Still snow on the ground, so. Close the door. <laughs> it's still a lot warmer in here than it is out there. Neither Mike or I like coffee, so we're gonna make ourselves some hot chocolate before we get out on the hiking trail. And the water's boiling, but because we don't want to risk getting the boiling hot water all over our van, we're just gonna open up our doors and dump it in from the back. And there's that snow. Any spills? If you didn't see it, they don't count. But yes, I did spill. <laughs> Here you go, one cup of hot chocolate. Still very hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not too bad out here today. It's definitely yeah. cold, but you know, the hot chocolate helps. <laughs> We're just getting all geared up for our hike. Got the most important thing, food. And then we're gonna go for a morning hike. This is where we stayed last night. The sign says that the park park closes at nine o'clock. I'm not sure if that applies to the parking lot. We didn't have any issues and there's actually someone else who stayed the night here too. We saw it on iOverlander and a bunch of people have spent the night here as well. So I think it's okay. We didn't come across any issues. So that was nice, but we're gonna hike in here. There's actually a little waterfall with a natural gas pocket and it actually has a, a continuous burning flame. So it's really cool. It's about half a mile in and out. It's just a there and back trail. So it should be a nice little hike this morning. With the recent snow, the trail is definitely a little bit muddy. You can kind of see 
through here. But it's a pretty mellow hike. We've gone on this a bunch of times. It's really popular in our area, but it's always fun. It's a really pretty scene at the end. A nice hike out in the morning. So now it's just a short little walk along it to the flame. And way off in the distance, you can start seeing that eternal flame that we're after. <laughs> The trail actually ended up being really nice. Uh, there was a couple of wet spots, but it actually wasn't bad to hike on at all. It was really pretty with all the snow everywhere. So I'm glad we got a chance to get out and do that this morning. I think this was actually a really cool outing. It was nice to know for sure that we can handle being in the van overnight on really cold conditions. I think it worked really well with the sleeping bag. And then to know that we also have the portable heater as well as the heated blanket makes me believe that we can kind of rough it if it gets even colder than freezing, which is what it was. And you can see all the snow on the ground still. So definitely a successful adventure. I'm really happy. We've got some new stuff planned for the new year. So we're excited to share that with all of you and we'll see you then.